Nerd Morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today on the Nerd Morning Show, we're going to be talking about the book Steelheart. I absolutely love this book, and this series, the Reckoner series, is just really on point. It is a YA novel, and I love it. It has a superhero vibe, and so if you like comic books or superheroes or things like that, this book will be one that I think you will really, really enjoy. It takes place in a world not too dissimilar to ours, and it's a point where there has been something that has happened, and suddenly there are a lot of individuals that have superpowers, and these individuals call themselves epics. And epics have a unique aspect in this story than any others because the epics, these superpowered individuals, are not heroes. It seems that for some reason, if you have epic powers, you are going to become reckless and bad and evil and essentially a villain. And so it is a world filled with people with powers, but all of them are bad. So the story is told in the point of view of David Charleston. The, um, when the story starts, he's a young boy who saw Steelheart bleed. And Steelheart is this big epic villain who has transformed all of Chicago to now be called New Chicago and is ruling the city um, with his powers and has subjugated tons of people to his will. And this, now that he's older, is someone that he wants to fight against. And so he is desperate to team up with a group called the Reckoners. The Reckoners are regular people who have massed together to take out these epics. So David is really trying to get into that team. And that's where we get going into this as David is determined to defeat Steelheart and also join the Reckoners. And from there, the story grows out to all of its different aspects. And I think it's really, really fun. It's got a really good, fast-paced story. It's, uh, it's a quick read. It is really, really fun. And I think that the pacing of this book is really great. The story is awesome. I think that it has a lot of those good YA elements that you will find from those type of books of, you know, David going and trying to figure out a little bit more about himself. We have a little bit of a love interest with a character named Megan, who is part of the Reckoner team. And we have uh, a lot of fun action and adventure inside of this. Also, I think what's interesting is this has, I think, a lot of heist vibes to it. There is no heist necessarily, but they are a specialty team that are working together in consort to accomplish a goal. And so each of these people have their specialties and their skills inside of this small little team. And so it feels like the type of team that you would maybe assemble inside of a heist story. So I think that's a really fun element inside of this story. The big, big characters, there's several characters that are important and valuable, but uh, the biggest one is David, who is the point of view character. Um, Megan, who I mentioned, she is really good with the gun. And that's one of the things that David is fascinated with her is because he is a guy who's obsessed with guns because that's one of the few things that you can use to protect yourself against epics in this world. But even that nece doesn't necessarily help. But that's the thing you can cling to as a regular person. And he also worked in building guns at a factory. Megan is this really good shooter and uh, integral part of the team in the Reckoners, and he is just really amazed by her. And I think that that's a fun relationship that they have as well. David also is a character that is really, really bad with metaphors. He will say something and it kind of almost makes sense, but it's just the wrong way to describe something. And it's a really fun and funny element to the story. The final character that I think should be noted here in this video is Prof, or John Fedris. He is the leader of the Reckoners, leader of the team, and a mentor character for David. And there are other characters inside of the Reckoners that are really funny or clever or interesting, but I feel like those ones are the most important in it. And this story 
has a lot of adventures, a lot of different super powered people that you get to see and meet and fight. And I love it. It is one I would definitely recommend for Brennan Sanderson fans, people who like superhero stories. Definitely, if you're looking for a good YA book in that category, all of those type of people, I would recommend this book too. Steelheart is a fantastic read, and I think that it's just so much fun. I have read it now several times through, and I'm probably going to read it again sometime in the future because I just find it so great. Anyways, those are some of my thoughts. If you've read the book, what are some of your favorite parts? Let me know, put those in the comments below. And if you haven't read this book, I hope this video helps you to decide if this is a book that you would be interested in or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That would really help a lot. Also, you can find me on my other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Nerd Morning. Also, you can support me at Patreon at www.patreon.com slash nerdmorning. Thank you again for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.